All right, here we go. So what do I do when I look at a proposal? First of all, notice on the left here, when you go to projects. Okay. Yeah. Talk about this. It'll show you the name. This is the project ID right here. Okay. You can see my screen? I do, yep. Okay, this right here is the project ID. So whenever you email about the customer, if you need to send an email, reference the name and the project ID. So just copy paste the whole line name. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. This tells you when, when it was submitted, what is the latest stage it's in, proposal created, submit lead, contract signed, or something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna click on Marcus Starks and I'm gonna go right, see on the top, now we have, you know, eight or nine tabs on top. Do you see yep, that? I do. Okay, so you got summary, which basically says the name, address, location, and this is where I know you know how to do it now. You add your mentor. Yep. Site info is where you uploaded the bill or they did. Did you or did they? They already did. They did it for me. That's incredible. That's incredible. All right. So the bill's there. Also, this you missed filling all this out. So next time, make sure you fill this out, okay? Okay. This will not be filled out by the customer. So annual consumption, I always put 20,000 because it's a high number and I can always take off what I don't need. Okay. Take off the panels I don't need. Utility company, you're going to pick City Public Service Energy or whichever one is on there. There's a drop down box right here, and it'll show you all of them. Okay. Installer, that's automatically filled in, Power GC. So okay. if somebody says, Are you an install? Y'all have an install company? Yes, we're actually the general contractor of our own company. Yeah, Power GC. Okay. Uh, roof years. I was thinking this is about maybe less than five year old home. Um, most of the homes in my in my neighborhood were built in 2013 and 14. So I would say it's less than 10 years old. Okay. So you just kind of guess. Okay. If you don't know, it's not a problem. If you're trying to get the proposal out, just put whatever. Okay. Roof type. If it's a standard asphalt, if it's a it is. metal roof. Steel shingle, clay tile, like in, uh, you know, California, Vegas. Yeah, the Spanish homes, yeah. Huh? Like one of those Spanish homes with the tile. Yeah, I've seen yeah. that. Yeah, and then mounting preference, roof or ground, or both. So I have roof here. And then I uh, saved it, and then I went to project actions, and I requested it. But you, you, uh, as, as a tier one seller, you have to have a mentor attached. So, can you see my screen? I do. Okay. I'm just, you don't see me because I'm clicking as you're clicking. Like I'm going, I'm on my screen too. I just want to make sure you see it. Yep. Okay. So right here on the tab proposals, you see where it says request a proposal revision in red? Yes. Okay. So this is if we need to change their information. Like if you put the wrong phone number or the wrong email, You'll do that here as well, okay? Okay. But we can, or we need an updated design because the last one expired. That's what this part's for. Okay. okay. Now let's view the proposal. This guy needs like a 25 kilowatt system and I don't know if he can fit that on his roof. 14, okay. So yeah, way off. Okay, let's, so now, what do I do when a proposal comes out? First thing I do, Mervin, is I click on this part, which is right below the design. Yep. These bars, I click on the bars and I'm gonna go back to the bill under site info, click on this area right here, bam, and it will show me the usage. So I'm gonna double check the usage because sometimes they just go by the 20,000 there uh, at the, in the back office when they're making the design, they don't do it individually. Right. So 
let's see here. So in July, he used 3082. So I'm going to go back to this right here. July 3082. Oh. Okay. I'm going to go to June. June, it looks between 20 and 25, a little bit higher. So I'm going to go 2400 kilowatts, kilowatt hours on June. 2400. So we go here. All right. May. See right here. It's in between 15 and 20. So I'm going to say 1700 kilowatt hours for May. So this is what I'm doing. This is pretty much the hardest part of my job, bro. Is having to go just make sure that these numbers are entered correctly for the correct their correct energy behavior. Uh, 15 April is 1500 kilowatts. March about I'd say 1100. February We've got about 1,350, about 1,400 February. January, 1,700. Okay. August, wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 oh. I'm hang on one second. August, okay. 2570 September 2570 October um October 2200 November 1600 almost done bro and then december 1400 okay. all right this is his exact energy behavior now let's take a look at where the line is at for the solar production as you can see this isn't so bad the offset 77 remember thank you he will probably overproduce energy. Also, we can offer uh, things that will help him have a smarter home. Like, what if he doesn't have a Wi-Fi thermostat? A Wi-Fi thermostat can save up to 15% additional energy efficiency. So that's a product that you can kind of add to the offset. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm going to select the finance option. Let's go with... I usually go with um, a uh, like a 4.9, unless somebody says, do you have lower interest rates? I say, yeah, you know, but, you know, they, uh, you know, they have some dealer fees associated with that, you know, so got to be careful where you're at. But, you know, for the most part, 499 is a good rate. It's a good rate. Now, we, now I would definitely pull up other rates too, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll pull up a one. Uh, a 1.4, you know, I'll have options for the customer. Okay. Uh, so, so let's talk about, scroll down a little bit. This is the, this is the area that's tricky. And although I remember the training, I, I can't get it down to a, to a, to a, to a, to a T, right? So hold on, let me scroll back up. Uh, fuck, where's that good, good leap? Uh, Okay, I'm just going to select finance option, like you said, four point, hold on, you're doing 20 year what? You should be able to refresh your screen, refresh your screen. Okay. And I think it already updated it for you. I believe it did. Let me see. It's loading now. Forgive me because I have slow internet in my house. Okay, I'm looking at it. So the $3,000 of CPS rebate, that's a check in the mail that comes from CPS after installation, Correct. Correct. And that normally takes anywhere between 60 to 90 days. Like they're not just going to send it to you. So don't count on that money right away. But if you were to install in the next 60 to 90 days, that money would probably come in during Christmas time. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. And then the new customer incentive, that $3,000, is, is that an additional $3,000 cash that power sends the customer? Absolutely. So what this what the is- fuck? I didn't get that. Well, this right here, this new customer incentive is actually an amount added to the loan, okay? So they're just getting their own money up front as an incentive. It's still good for some people. They, they want, they like cash in hand, but some people don't need cash in hand. So I'll, I'll tell them about that, you know? Okay, so let's, let's remove it okay. um, and see what that looks like. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll go to right here in the top right. This is where the menu is. Okay. The top okay. right. I see it. Incentives, new customer, un unclick it, update. Okay. Hit it. Hit it. I did. I All did. Right. I'm waiting. Yeah. Okay, good. Cool. okay. Now look at the price. Well, of course, mine hasn't up updated yet. So let me check again. Yeah. Okay. This is a lot more affordable now. Okay. Now, look, this is his average, what he's paying right here. 223. Now look at this. We need an electrical adder. Your house did not have a 200 amp. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that in the notes. You, you were positive you had one. Yeah, I showed it to you. It, 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 I, I, it, the problem is it's, it's on the right-hand side and not the left. So you have to go looking for it. And those dudes, when they came, it was raining. They're what? It was raining when they came. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is where you would add it, right here. Electrical adders. Okay. And then you pick 200 amp main panel upgrade to be determined. Okay? Okay. Okay, now we also have the margin here. Now... We can go lower on this margin, you know, if you what's, want. What's the margin right now? Well, let's see. First of all, also, uh, okay, here we go, here we go. Okay. So the margin currently, do you remember how to add, how, how to figure out your margin? Um, give me a second. What tab are you in again? Adders? Margin? Hold on. Calculator? I believe I do. Don't tell me. Let me try to figure it out. Okay. Okay. So if I'm looking at, oh, let, my window's too big. Let me shrink it a little bit. If that's 15977.5, I'm going to divide that by 0.3. Well, I fucked that up. Uh, <laughs> give me a second. 15. How much do we get? How much do we get of that? How much percentage? 7.5. Divided by 0 0.03. Why does it keep? Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm doing it. So power gets $4,793, which is 30%. Uh, this year, 11,000. Yeah, we get 11,184. So you want to times it by 0 0.70, 70%. That's how you're going to find out. 5977.5 times 0.7. Yeah, we get 11,184. I'm going to divide that by two. I get $5,592. And if I multiply that by 0 0.08, I believe what? I'll get... Five hundred dollars up front of that when they do the survey. So we get we get a maximum of two thousand dollars up front or forty percent up front of the seventy percent. Okay. So in this case, we would be over two grand. So they would send you a thousand and me a thousand for the two thousand okay. dollar limit. And then I would get the additional four thousand and ninety two dollars when they install. Absolutely. Bro, this deal, if it goes through, when it goes through, because I'm positive, that's the cost of my deck in my backyard. <laughs> Bro.
bro, all you got to do is have people like you. That's all you have to do in this business. It solar makes so much sense. Okay. So now I'm just going to cancel it. I'm not going to update it because you probably already did. So, so the margin, so, okay. Where it's at right now, 235 a month. He's paying 223. He's he's uh, getting a three thousand dollar rebate, tax credit, loan amount fifty six grand. That's not bad, bro. Um, but but check this out. Pricing right on top of adders. Pricing. Okay, I'm here now. We are at three dollars and ninety one cents final price per watt. Do you see that? Yep. The majority of the competition is selling at $3.40, okay? Not saying you can't sell this. I'm just saying that the competition out there is probably going to be lower. So more value needs to be, to be given. Uh, unless you want it to be an absolute slam dunk, you would lower your margin a little bit. Okay. I'm not going to lower my margin yet. I'm going to see how comfortable the individual is because from the bill that he sent, his average monthly bill is somewhere between 300 and $350. Dude. Yeah. This right here, dude, that's all over his house, bro. This is 35 panels. Oh, hold on one second. I always use the end phase inverters here. Okay, bro. And check this out too. You can go to adders and you can send the customer a rebate check, homeowner, homeowner rebate, 500 bucks. Boom. When you get and that, a, come, that comes out of my commission or out of power. That's on the loan. So it's added to the loan. Added to the loan and it's a check to them. Okay. Yep. 14 kilowatt system. Look. Look at, look at, this is where 14 kilowatts is right here. They're like, their summers are crazy. This is what their bill is going to look like after going solar. 60 bucks with CPS. Do you know how happy they're going to be? Yeah. Look at, look at this inflation right here. In five years, that bill, 271. 10 years, 15, 20, 25. And they're paying 232. And then let me ask you this also, because I was confused when I spoke to Christian the other day. Whenever you overproduce energy at the end of the month, you don't make money immediately. That money is withheld by CPS. And at the end of the year, they cut you a check for the amount of overproduction compared to your average usage, correct? Not correct. Yeah. Okay. Now, most companies do it that way. So you are right. But in, in other markets, in CPS, they show you on your bill every month how much you overproduced and how much they bought and the credit they every single month. When CPS buys your credit, what is the price per kilowatt that they're buying from you? Price per kilowatt hour? is yes. going to be two cents they're charging 14 cents a kilowatt hour and they're giving back two cents okay but it's still a break when we look at thousands of kilowatts being used absolutely you're getting paid nobody else is okay yeah all right does this make so sense now, how this how i work this and all that yeah 100 percent. so let's say he says this is just a hypothetical, right? Let's say he says, well, I don't want to have an energy bill. I just want 100% coverage, right? Then I would come up here. And his offset, I'm going to want, I'm going to have to add more panels to make it 100% offset, correct? Right. Check this out, okay? I'm gonna open up another uh, example, okay? Okay. 
I'm going to show you some different numbers. So proposals. Yeah. I'm going to view another proposal. Okay. So this one, 4.9, so you can see the numbers. Now this, let's go ahead and try this out. Put this at a 20 year 1.49. 1, 1. That's a great, that's a great one, right? Yep. Look at his payment. It, it's not that much better, but it's 20 years. It's a 1.49. Now look at this loan amount was 56. Look at this one. It went up because of the dealer fees. Okay, so these loan companies are going to get paid either way. But if you have a customer that says, I remember when we spoke about your system, you said you want the lowest amount possible and that's yep. respectable. That's fine. But there's also a different customer that, want, that wants to pay more and over and get it done faster, right? Um, and so that's why you got to ask. You know, you got to say, because your competition is showing this all day. They're showing this. Oh, 1.49. It's great. But, but don't forget. So now you want to have an option close. Now you have an option close with your customer. You know, uh, let me see. Hold on. This is 20. Okay. Yeah. So Mr. Customer, yeah, this is a 25 year 4.9. Don't let the 4.9 fool you. This is actually lower. This is actually a lower loan amount in dealer fees. Let me ask you, Mr. Customer, what are you more? What is more uh, uh, appropriate for your finances right now? Would you like the lowest monthly uh, payment possible, or would you rather not mind a high payment but have a lower balance because you can pay it off faster? And they'll tell you. And then say, great, I have these two options. Let me show you the differences and let them pick. That's it. But check this out, Mervin. We go over here, 1.49, right? Okay, remember this one right here? 25.4.9? Yeah. Yes. Remember I went to pricing, $3.90, remember? Yep. Well, we have it at $3.86 now, right? Yep. Let's go back over here with a 20 year 1.49. Look at the pricing now. In, in San Antonio, we cannot sell over $4 a lot. CPS Energy, I don't know why they limit us, but because no other area does that. But they say you can't charge more than $4 a watt. So if, if everything is set and a good price, how do we lower that? Do you know what we're going to have to do? Change the terms. Well, that will do it, right? Back to the 4.9. But what if they say, oh, man, I like that. You know what? I want to do the 20-year 1.49. How are you gonna how are you gonna lower this to under four dollars the the price per watt? Maybe change the equipment that they have. Sometimes it's like a two cent difference. That wouldn't be a big difference. Where it's gotta come from is our margin. Got it. So this has to go down. So let's go to point seven. This is about three thousand each. And pricing is under four dollars. Do you see that? Okay. Four, it's got to be four under four dollars. I think it can be four dollars, but I always just like it at under four dollars. But anyways, three ninety seven. But we lost some money, right? Like we lost five thousand dollars in margin because of the interest and the dealer fees and San Antonio's CPS Energy's stupid rules. Okay. So that's the difference, okay? Okay, you put it back to our original margin, correct? 
let's go. Let me make sure I did that. Okay, so all you got to do is get uh, get an appointment now. Yeah, so now I get to hit him up and say, hey, you have a proposal. Do I send him the proposal? No, never do that. Because they'll look at it and all they're going to do is look at one thing. This right yep. here. And they'll be like, no, that doesn't make sense. When the presentation is meant to explain why people are going solar. Why is it smart? Why is it a smart investment? Right? And if they just see a price, there's no value built into that. There's no reasoning. So you never want to send the proposal. Just say, super excited to let you know I worked super fast on getting your proposal done and it's complete and ready to present. Uh, what works better for you, Zoom or in person? Um, yeah, he, he lives the block behind mine. So no, I no, think no. That that's what you would say. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. That's what you would say. Bro, we got this in the bag. Um, I agree. I feel comfortable. I'm happy. Um, so now that we have a, now that we have a 